Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die Undead Legs. I'm an old guy gaming. In this episode, we are going to make ourselves a research tier two station. So um, let's go ahead and go in here, and we want to pin this, and we need 20 books. We have 20. We need 400 research data. We have 500, and we need 10 paper. We have 376. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and research this. And then when that's finished, we'll see what it's going to take to actually make the research table. So that does not go in there. This goes in here. All right, so let's see. I spent the rest of yesterday afternoon securing our workbench that we found. We're going to go back over there and take a look at that too and see uh, what, uh, what we need to do. Well, I think... Um, I, I need to get a Kim bench going so we can make gunpowder, right? That's kind of the next thing on the list. And we also need, we want to get a water well going too. And I think, do we make that just straight up in the crafting bench? Uh, workbench? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's, let's get this made today too. Let's get this made today too. Okay, so we're going to need to make an iron shovel. That's... Yeah, I'm gonna okay. I'm I'm gonna have to go do some mining for that because I think we need like 20 iron plating to make the shovel. Let's look at that right here. Yeah, we need 20 plating um to to make the actual shovel. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do some some mining. So we probably won't make the water well uh, in this episode. So okay, let's grab this research station level two. Boom! All right, now. To make that sucker, research station level two, where do we make that? Research two. Crafted in the... No, wait. Where do we make the actual station? Oh, there we do. We just make it in our own inventory. Okay. Ah, crap. We need another 20 books. <laughs> okay. Well, it's time to go out and keep looking for books and stuff like that. So we have a, another retrieve supplies quest, so we're gonna do that. But let's um let's run over to the workstation that we that we found. Uh, because I think I'm I think we need the research station too to make the schematic for the chem bench or chemistry station, and then we make it in the workbench. I think that's how that works. Uh, so let's run over here. I took a quick look at that, and then uh, we'll start this quest here. All right, so let's run down here. So basically what I did is I put this barricade up here, and I put this barricade up here. So eventually the sleepers will repop in this place, and when they do, you know, we can just kill them right through their little slots there. Uh, but for this, let's go... Chem, uh, chemistry station. Okay, so yeah, we have to learn the blueprint for this in the tier two research station. And then once we do that, then we make it in here. Okay, so that's that's the deal. So yeah, we got we to gotta come up with 20 books. Is that something we can make? Book. Um, crafted in research station tier two. So we can make them. But again, we need the tier two research station to do so. So yeah, we're gonna be definitely be on the lookout for books for sure. Okay, I'll meet you guys over at our questing location. Let's do it. Okay, Grumpy's Pub. I don't think I've ever been in this POI. So let's do it. Let's do it to it. Take a quick look inside. I don't see any sleepers that we can just uh, do the thing to. Let's get this down here and... Uh, do I have everything? It feels like I'm missing something. Got my axe, got my pick, got my hammer. Uh, I guess we'll put this down here. Alright, let's go. Oh, by the way, I used my wrench and I took apart a vending machine and I got two steel plates from which I was able to repair 
my sledgehammer without having to uh, without having to use a repair kit. So that worked out pretty good. Just you? All right, come here. Come to the door. You're going to go to the window instead? Come on. Bonk. All right, so is that it for the front room? All right, let's go over here. Is this door closable? Yes, it is. Okay, so we got a, a locked door there and these two unlocked doors. Is there anything in here to loot? I don't think we get leather from these. I think we, well, let's see. I take that back. We do. All right, let's get all this leather. All right, I just realized my axe is almost toast. Yeah, that's going to take long. All right, I'll come back and get the rest of this later, maybe. Sexual tension. Nothing there. Okay. What do we get from this? We get paper. Uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's go in here next. There's some books. Come on, give me books. Ooh, mini bike wheel. We're going to learn that because at some point we're going to want to make one. There's a charge in that. Uh, oh, crap. I didn't bring any jars with me. Um. Well, all right. I guess I can't do much about that. Oh, look, look what's going on up here. Oh, we're going on up there. Okay, before we do that, let's check the bathroom here. Okay, Marlene's in the bathroom. It is a co-ed bathroom, so that's okay, though. Marlene, are you coming? Bonk. Oh, man, look at all these charges. Well, I can come back later for that stuff, I guess. Nothing in there. All right. We can't get in through that door. So let's head on up here. Since we're going up on the roof, we're probably going to have vultures. Let's get ready with this. Okay, don't see any buzzards. Oh, shit. Okay. No buzzards, but two zombos. Now what? Oh, there's a satchel. Okay, we got that. Um. Oh, wow, look at the engine in that. That's cool looking. That's it then, huh? We got a couple outbuildings here we can check. That appears to be it for this main building, though. How do we get... How do we get into that back room where the door's locked? I don't know. Let's go back down here. Okay, that door's locked. Let's go around the back. Locked, too. Okay. Can we get around this side? I mean, I can always break it if I have to, or hop over with the... Uh, with blocks. This place is completely enclosed. Right? N uh, yeah, I think so. Look at this. <laughs> We're getting a little bit better, you guys. Just a little bit better. Oh, there's a munitions crate back there. Okay, yeah, we definitely got to go for that. And I heard another sleeper. Okay, let's see if we can get a headshot off on him without waking him up. Yeah. 
and a puppy. All right, well, you know what? This is a good place to be right now. Hold still. All right, here. You got to go first. Okay, then you guys can go next. Now you. Let's um save some shotgun shells. Let's use our pistol. Just jump over the rail, dumbass. You used to be a zombie that could crawl up the side of buildings. Now you can't even jump over a rail. What's the matter with you? All right, so we've gone all the way around. They have weakened this part of the fence. Not by much. Why can't I jump over that? Okay. Let's harvest you. What you got, man? Ooh, nice. Two steel uh, plating. So that's another repair job for our... Excuse me. my uh, Our sledgehammer. Our sledgehammer. My sledgehammer. Most of us Let's Players say our and we. And the reason for that, if it isn't obvious, is because we're kind of doing this together. I mean, I'm playing the game, but you guys are watching the game and you're seeing the story unfold along with me. And so it's kind of like a, a team effort, you know what I mean? And that, that's why I say and most uh, other YouTubers say we. We're going to do this today. We just got a new uh, something or other, you know, that kind of thing. So it's fun. We're doing it together, you guys. We're doing it together. Okay, let's... Uh, whoops, that's not what I went, meant to do. Oh, we're getting kind of low on shoddy shells. Okay, let's grab that. Do, do we get it? Yeah. See what's in here. Okay. Um, again, another place I can come back later and just loot off camera for the basic stuff. Um, let's check this building here. That's the door that was locked. Oh, okay. Here's the fat loots. All right. Before we do the fat loots, let's look in here real quick. Some food. Check the sink. No charges there. Check these guys. Uh, there is a purse down here. Okay, and let's see. We got a shower, a toilet with some charges. Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to come back here with some chars. Normally, I keep some with me, but I just... I think I did the, you know, put everything away. Uh, okay, scrap a doodle that. This little thing here, you know, move all stackables, and sometimes I put stuff away I didn't mean to. There we go. Got a few more shotgun shells out of that deal. Okay, let's go check out the fat loots and then go do our turn in. Um, is that better than what we have? Let's look. Physical armor, 7.5. Oh, yeah, that is better. Okay. Ammo. Nice. We need some 44s, man. All right, let's... Oh, man, I hope I have enough axe left to open these guys. Okay. Um, a G-level pitchfork. Okay. Alrighty. I will see you guys back at the trade. We'll do our turning. Hey, don't come. Uh, 
sure doubted it, but you pulled it off. That's not as good as what we currently have. It is worth 62 coin. And these are some shitty rewards for tier two, I gotta say. That's worth 21 coin. Um, okay, we'll take this just because it's worth more. Oh, we're done. Okay, so what do we got? Yeah, let's take 200 large stone. I don't think so. Melee mods bundle or cloth armor bonus bundle or farm bundle. Stone. 38 lockpicks. You know, we will probably get a mod in here that we can use on the sledgehammer. I mean, I've got the durability one, but I'd rather have, like, the, you know, the one that knocks them down, the weighted head mod. So, it would be nice to have those, but I think we're going to go with the melee mods bundle. All right, you guys. <coughs> Special jobs. This is going to lead us to a new trader. Let's take it. Northwest, another trader gin. We have all right, let's open this thing up and see what we got. We got a fortifying grip, which we're going to scrap, and then a fortifying grip. What does this do? Oh, that's the health below gain one hit point every five seconds thing. You know, that's not bad, actually. Um, Yeah, maybe we'll do that. I wish we would have gotten the weighted head mod, though. Okay, you know, honestly, dude, that was kind of lame. You should have given us a freaking mini bike kit. What the hell? <laughs> that was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, um, let's go. Let's go do this. Let's go do this opening trade routes and see uh, what Trader Jen's got going on. Do you have an updated inventory? Let's buy that stuff. No, this is the same stuff he's been, he's had all along. So, okay, man, I really would like to get a better compound boat. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go back to the base, drop a few things off, and then we are going to go do this opening trade routes because we still yeah, we still have about 10-ish minutes left in this episode, so let's, let's go do that. All right, you guys, uh, we are going two and a half clicks to the northwest-ish. Um, so we have a mountain there. We're going to have to probably go around. And let's just uh, take a little road trip on the bike. What time is it? Oh, yeah. It's not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet, so we got plenty of, of daylight. And go see if this Trader Gen is in a new, uh, in a city. Uh, because if she is, we might just move there. I'd like to be near a city.
right, we found Jen's new place. She is obviously here in a desert town, but not in... Doesn't appear like she's in a city. So, um, plus, yeah, you know, the fact that this is in a desert is not ideal either. All right. No oh, shit. What's with all the buzzards around here too, man? Goodness gracious. We're out of shotgun shells. And we're out of these shells. And we're out of these. <laughs> Holy crap, man. We're like not in very good shape, are we? We got like five shells left. I hope Jen's got some for sale. Holy crap. All right, let's go in here. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's talk to her first. Don't spend it all in one place. But if you do, make sure it's here. All right. Let's take a look at your inventory. What do you have? You don't have a whole lot, actually. Nothing we really want here. What about secret stash? You got a nice double barrel. Oh, one of the, oh, she's got a mini bike for fifteen hundred coin. A comet mini bike. Fifteen hundred. I mean, we could raise that, but hmm. Okay. Well, here, let's do this. Sorry, but I've never heard of a stim pack. I don't believe you. Let's modify this. We'll get all this stuff off of here. I think that's it. All right, we're going to sell her all of this. I should have repaired that first, but I didn't, so. So that gets us up to 5,100 coin. All right, you don't have any ammo, but you got the dude upstairs, right, that does the ammo. There's the weighted head mod. Well, the weighted head mod schematic. Um, it's kind of expensive. Yeah, she doesn't have. Thanks for the business. Stay really, safe out there. Really, what we need there. Okay, let's grab that. And here, we'll just sell this to you again. We'll sell. We'll sell your money to you. I hope you get feeling better. All right, what's in here? How can I help you? I want to buy one of those. Who just said that? Isn't he upstairs? Yeah, he's upstairs, right? Yeah. Okay. Dude, I need some ammo. Like, seriously. I need some ammo. All right. What you got, Mank? A peacekeeper shotgun for $9,000. Make you holla. It's expensive. Okay. He's got some shoddy shells. That's good. We need those. Oh, and he's got some 44s, too. We need those. All right. Uh, and he's he doesn't have any fives five fives okay so that's fine all right well um i think those are 25 a pop those are 28 a pop this would allow us to use our 44 magnum pistol okay we could actually buy all 50 of them Does that mean it's going to cost us 1275 for the, oh yeah it is okay yeah let's buy all of those and then weapon flashlight oh he's got a backpack thingamadoodle that gives us 25 more pounds and it's 1190 we're gonna buy that he's got a magazine extender but i think we should probably spend the rest of our bank on as many shotgun shells as we can afford 26.99 so right about well oh shit i didn't mean to do that right about here there we go okay so that gets us 96 it's done, it's done. you're right it's done cool so we can start using our magnum pistol now uh, all right let's go loot in here real quick 
Uh, but this is not this town. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we'll take those. Uh, this town doesn't look to be like a city. It's it looks like it's just another town, and it, being in the desert is not with especially with as many vultures as there are. My goodness, not really what I want to do. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. I forgot that munitions crate back at the other place. Uh, when I go back home... Oh, there we go. We got some 556s five, five, there. Good. Uh, when we go back home, I'll check it. But I probably will do that off camera. Uh, here, let's do this. Nothing else over here, right? Okay. All right, I want to go up here and just kind of take a look around. Yeah, this is this is just a little town. This is not a city. Okay. That's a cool looking place over there. It's like a big manor or something. Well, that really sucks, man. So both of our opening trade routes so far have led us to undesirable biomes. However, it is nice that we that we found this biome just because, you know, now we can come here for oil shale. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to hit this deer with this because the spread is so bad. All right, we got it. Okay. How do we, wait, how do we get down from here? Over here. All right, you guys. Well, I'm gonna let you go here. I'm gonna work my way back home. Um, that was a that was a kind of a rough rough ride across that map. My word. Um, I wonder if that if I could find a highway that would intersect to this one and lead us back this way. Maybe I might do that. We're gonna get it a little bit cold in the snowbound, but we do have a duster on, uh, which helps. Oh no, we don't. Never mind. Why did we, why did I think we had a duster? I thought we had found a duster, but maybe not. Um, so, here, let's look in here, too. Yeah, I'm going to work my way back home, and I guess we'll stay where we are for the time being, because, again, I'm just not, not too thrilled with either one of these, these towns here. That's Jin's door there. Here, we can grab this stuff here, and let's go in here real quick. Oh, we got some meds. All right, cool. Oh, more books. Yes, we definitely need books. We already looked in there, right? Okay. Yeah, and then um, we'll just, like I said, we'll just stay where we are for now. And, oh, I never looted outside, did I? Let's just quickly loot out here. Nice little pile of brass. Some flour, I guess that's what that was. Nothing in those. Uh, charges in there, but unfortunately we don't have jars with us. Oh, well, we got that. All right, we got a couple more. Can we not loot this ambulance? I guess we can't. Okay, let's fill those up. Run around here real quick, check the trash. Not too impressed. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll head back. We'll just stay in the the same town we are because now uh, Hugh will be able to start giving us tier three quests and uh, wait. You know, I guess work our way through tier three until we get the next opening trade routes, and hopefully that will lead us to a city. Um. At least that's what I hope will happen, so. All right, you guys, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, you know what we should probably do? That's what we should probably do. Okay, here we go. Run away! 
See you, suckers. Bye, guys.